Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to do my update for my first update in April of my sample project pan. I do have quite a few sample empties here, and I wanted to show you some progress and I'm getting on some other products, and I just love doing these. They're so much fun, I just have a great time, and yeah, let's just get on into it. So I'm drinking kombucha. I'm gassy, because that always makes me gassy. But I don't have any mascara on today right and I have like super minimal makeup on and I'm just kind of going with it today because I am not in the mood I tried to curl my hair do you guys see how straight my hair is literally it was curled like five minutes ago I just can't win so I'm not even gonna try anymore today I'm done I was caught this cute little like skull shirt on and then I was freezing so I was like I might just cover it all up I just can't today I just can't Anyways, let's get into the empties that I have for you guys. So my first product is this BioBell mask, and it is the hashtag beauty scoop with avocado and collagen, diminishes the appearance of fine lines, and it is a one-time use mask. And this one, I will report, did not break me out. I was so happy with it. It was so good. It was so smoothing on the skin. My skin felt great the next couple days. I didn't feel like I needed to mask after it. I did rinse the essence off of my skin because I think that's what broke me out the first time is that I left it on overnight. So I did rinse it off this time and this worked out really, really well. So I will definitely be using the other ones in my collection, the ones that I have of this one. And I can say officially, that the BioBell brand does not break me out. It might just be that mask. I haven't tried that specific one again yet, but this one was great for me and my dry slash combination skin because the weather has no idea what it wants to do. So I liked that one and I would definitely repurchase. The next sample empty that I have is this Matrix BioLage. Um, Recover Shampoo and Conditioner, and it's real authentic, wholesome, so raw. I don't know. I did see this at Target, and I don't know. It was pretty expensive. It's like $20 for a bottle of shampoo, which is a little on the expensive side, in my opinion. Um, I honestly didn't notice anything about this. The shampoo was a cream shampoo, which... I don't know. I don't like cream shampoo as much as I like water-based shampoos because they don't feel like they clean my skin or lather as well. And then the conditioner, like I used this whole thing in one use. This was one use for me and it just didn't really work out well for me. I just, I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase. I didn't really notice anything special about it. Eh. I wouldn't use it again. I mean, if I got another sample, I would use it just to use the sample, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Then the next item that I got that I absolutely loved, and I mean loved, was this Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cooling Firming Eye Gels. And I loved this one. I left it on for like 25 minutes just while I was texting and, you know, watching YouTube videos and searching Pinterest and whatever. But it comes in this little like jar like this. And I loved these. I've had these for a long time now. I think I got these in a BoxyCharm some time ago. And I was like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to use them. These kind of things don't really work. I wish I would have put these in the refrigerator because then I think it would have been much more cooling on the skin. But even not putting them in the refrigerator, they were very, very cooling and soft and gentle on my skin. And they didn't slide around at all. They stayed in place where I put them. And I put them very, very close to my eyes just to see if they would irritate my eyes because my eyes are very easily irritated by products like this. And... It didn't irritate my eyes at all. I was super, super happy with it. I would totally repurchase these. Honestly, they are a bit expensive. Um, this one little thing was $3.75 for two little eye gels. So on the scheme of life, would I repurchase them? No, if I got more of them or if I found them on a really good discount, would I repurchase them? Yes. 
I really liked these. I do think that they definitely cleared out my under eye area. You guys know I don't wear concealer, so I do count on stuff like this and face masks and eye gels and stuff to keep my under eyes looking good and fresh and not, you know, blue and bruised looking. So I did really enjoy these. I would definitely repurchase and I was so happy to use them when I did. The next product is the Adore Nourishing Hand and Body Lotion with Vitamin E and Stem Cells and it says Organic Innovation. So this little sample guy, and I mean like little sample guy, was enough for one like elbow to hand usage on both hands. So literally I didn't get much usage on this at all. I did pick this up, this little sample, up at um... St. Augustine when we were there and we were in the shopping area they were just kind of like handing them out to you know get people to come in the store and purchase stuff these are so expensive and honestly this was like one of my least favorite lotions I've ever used it smelled oh it, the smell is just off like I, I don't think it's bad I think that just the smell was just wrong for me and it didn't really feel that hydrating and nourishing at all on my skin I was super disappointed in this I thought I would love it when I used it I didn't. I would never repurchase that and I'm glad to see it in my empties because I don't even want that <laughs> in my collection anymore. It was that bad. So this next empty, you guys have seen this in one of my updates or multiples of my updates previously and that is the Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic Recovery Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer. This I got 39 uses out of. That is more than a month's worth of uses and that's all the times that I actually marked it down on the bottom of this and it didn't erase. So you guys can see like literally I marked it down every time I used it and I was so happy using this. It did, when my skin was really really dry, it did give like somewhat of a tingling sensation on my skin which I didn't mind at all but it was a little weird and then in the morning when I woke up my skin was so hydrated and fresh looking I loved this I would definitely repurchase this it is quite expensive this little sample if I break it down from the full size was $26 what what $26 for this little sample guy? Where did I get this from? Like, <laughs> what? Who gave me a $26 sample for free? Because I know I didn't pay for this. I don't know. Anyways, this was one of the best little facial moisturizer samples I have ever received. I loved using it. I didn't even mind that it was in a tub like this because... I got to use it so, I got to use so little of it that I didn't really feel like I was like digging my finger in every time I would just get the barelyest, tiniest amount and it would cover my entire face. So I was extremely happy using this. I did bring this to Florida with me as my only moisturizer and it worked out so well in Florida as well when my skin wasn't so dry, when I, my skin was a little bit more combo or oily. And yeah, I would be so happy to get another one of these. I am going to put it on my repurchase list if I ever get that bougie feeling of skincare because I get that sometimes. But as of right now, you guys know I'm on a no buy, so I won't be purchasing anything right now. But it is going to go on my list to repurchase in the future. I loved this. And if you have the money, I definitely recommend this for a night cream. I think it was a little bit too thick to use for a day cream. I tried it a couple different days. And me personally, I like a very lightweight or gel type formula. This was definitely a cream based formula and it was very heavy on the skin. So I wouldn't use it as a day cream. I would definitely only use it as a night cream, but I loved this. I, I'm actually sad to see the packaging go because I loved it that much and I want it to remind me that I loved it. I don't know, I'm weird I guess, but definitely would repurchase this if I had the chance to in the future or had the money to in the future. Has that been in my tooth the whole time? I'm so sorry if I had food in my tooth just now. I just had a salad <laughs> with veggies and I probably had food in my tooth that whole time. So excuse me for that. I just got it out. Sorry about that. So my next sample empty is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and it is in the shade Nude. It was just like this little sample pack guy. I actually got five uses out of this, four to five uses out of this. 
I was putting it in this little container here. I will show you guys, but I can't get a full use out of what is in here still. So I plan on putting, I have other samples of the same foundation that I plan on just mixing in with this because it is the same formula. So I don't think I'll have any issues. It's just gonna be a tiny bit of a different of shade, but I think I'm gonna put a lighter shade in with this one because it was like the tiniest bit dark on me. But honestly, I didn't think like this foundation was anything special until, I filmed about three videos using this foundation and I had so many people comment on how flawless my skin looked. I didn't think my skin looked different at all. I don't have any breakouts right now. My redness is definitely fading away and I don't really have much texture. And I was like, well, I thought my skin looked good all the time, but I guess it doesn't. <laughs> Just kidding. But honestly though, you guys commented, at least 10 different people commented how flawless and beautiful and glowy my skin looked the days that I was wearing this. I didn't do anything different with my makeup routine. I've been wearing the same makeup that's in my everyday makeup drawer for the whole month. And the only thing I changed was this foundation. I always put it on with a sponge because that's how I put on my liquid foundations. And you guys told me how amazing my skin looked every time I wore this. And even like somebody at work had mentioned, wow, Kelly, your, you know, your skin looks, your makeup looks really, really nice today. And it was like the most minimal makeup I had ever done at work. Cause I don't, honestly, I don't wear makeup at work very often, but when I do, I just like do like something super quick. And I did wear this to work one day and they were like, oh my God, your makeup looks so good today. And I'm like, what? Anyways, this is the foundation that I've been wearing when you guys said that. So. With that regard, I think I'm gonna pick some of this up. Not right now, I do have other foundations that I wanna use up, but this and those little sample packs are gonna stay in my rotation of using for the summer to see if it's something that'll work for me when my skin is a little bit more oily in the summer and see how it goes. But yeah, I think I really did enjoy this too. It definitely, I definitely sheared it out to more of a lightweight finish instead of a medium coverage finish, but you can definitely build this up if you want. I just don't like to do that with my foundations. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep using my other samples that I have of this. I think I have like six or eight samples of this and that was like four to five uses for one sample. So I'm gonna just keep using this and keep seeing how it goes. And the very last sample that I completely finished up this month was the Henelay Sugar Lip Scrub. And this is just like that small little sample you guys have been seeing my progress on throughout this time of doing my sample project pans. And I thought last time it would be done and then I fi finished it up two days after my last update. So it's definitely been gone for a while and I have been since working on a different Sugar Lip Scrub. Now, since I've been working on a different one, I do think that this is not my favorite sugar lip scrub. I have already repurchased the full size of this because I thought it was my favorite, but the one that I'm using now, the sugar in it is a lot more, um, it's a lot more fine. It's a lot smaller chunks of sugar. And this one, the chunks of sugar are very, very big and crystallized and just thick. So they do scrub a lot better but in that one, it's a lot more gentle on my lips. This one actually leaves my lips a little bit plump because I'm rubbing so hard to get it off. Would I repurchase now that I have finished this up and if I didn't already had, if I hadn't already repurchased? No, I wouldn't, but I do like it. I think it works and I think it leaves your lips really, really soft, especially if you use the Henelay lip treatment after, which is what I've been using and the cap is actually broken. So I want to get that one finished up soon, but yeah, I, I don't know. I have a love hate relationship with this one because I think it works better than the one I'm using now, but it's a lot more abrasive and aggressive than the one I'm using now. So it's like, what do you want to trade off, you know? But I did like it. I got a solid like three months worth of usage out of this if I would have used it straight. I had it in my bathroom for a lot longer than that. So 
I don't know exactly how long, but I definitely don't use a sugar lip scrub every single day. If at most I would use it every other day, but even that I think it's a little aggressive on my lips because they are very dry and very sensitive all year round. It doesn't matter what season, but yeah, I'm happy to have this gone and I'm happy to have used it up. So now one product that I almost finished up, there's only one use left out of it, but I decided to declutter it after I realized something about it is the raw sugar body wash with raw coconut and mango and it is the cold press technology. This formula you can find at Target. I actually got this in a Target beauty box, but I was using this in Florida. I used it twice in Florida and I thought I really liked it because it was very lightweight and fresh on the skin, right? And then I didn't use it for a while because I wanted to finish up an X one that was in my shower here at home. But then I started using this one again when I was done with that X one. And I don't need a lot of this to you. So it did last a long time, but my bumps came back on the backs of my arm. I'm freezing right now, so I have um, like the shiveries on my arms right now. So you couldn't really tell. I tried to show a close up, but you just couldn't tell. But the red bumps on the backs of my arm here and here came back with a vengeance when I started using this consistently. And I don't know what it is in here because it seems like the most natural ingredients ever in here, but there's definitely something in here that my skin reacts badly to. So since taking this out of my shower, I have since put this away, I've decluttered it, and like I said, there's only one use out of it, so I did count it as an empty in my totals for money and numbers, because technically, I did empty it out, and I decided that I hate it. So, if you have skin similar to mine, like if you've watched my videos in the past and you realize that you have very similar skin then as mine, I would definitely not recommend this whatsoever. If your skin seems to be a bit stronger, or if you see the ingredients on here that you like, um, I would suggest it. I do think it was cleansing. I do think it was lightweight and fresh and it didn't leave my pores clogged at all, but it definitely reacted with my skin and my pores and it, it didn't like my skin or my skin didn't like it at all. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. Even if I, even when I say like, if you like the ingredients on it, I still wouldn't recommend it. I just, I can't recommend things that break me out. To you guys i don't think that's fair and i don't think that's nice so yeah but anyways i'm counting this as an empty and as a declutter at the same time like i would never repurchase this and yeah i'm happy to have this out of my shower and since i've been using my suave in the last couple of showers i'm glad to report that my bumpies on the back of my arms are slowly going away because my skin really likes the suave formula so definitely getting rid of this one so those were all of my empties and I will list the totals here on the side of the screen right here. And I'm really happy to have this many empties and I think $45, it's a lot of money to empty out in less than a month's time. This was two weeks time. So I definitely still plan on having an empties at the end of the month as well. I'll probably do my sample empties with my regular empties this month since I haven't had a lot of regular empties this month, just so that you know you guys can see them all in one video and you can see all my updates and everything as well. But right now I'm gonna get into the updates of the products that I've been working on for a while and show you guys the progress on some of those and what I'm getting close to. So hopefully you'll see them in the next couple of videos, but we'll see. Some of the, sometimes I say that we're gonna like empty out all these products and then I just don't. So <laughs> I don't know how that's gonna go, but I'm gonna try my absolute best and I will let you guys know what I have going on right now for empties for possible videos in the future. So let me go grab those. Okay guys, so for some reason, I had a hard time finding the samples that I'm working on right now. I don't know, I just like searched the house for the rest of my stuff and I just can't find anything. I think things are in my work jacket, which I left at work and my backpack and I just, I don't know where everything is. So I'm gonna show you what I have here. And if I don't show you a product, it's either because one of two reasons, I either haven't used it at all since I mentioned it last or that I can't find it. It's probably in my work jacket. Cause I know there's two lotions that are one in my backpack and one in my work jacket and I can't find them. So there's that. But I wanna go over the things that I have currently been working on for samples. 
I've been working on this little sample of Prada candy and I've been loving this scent loving it like not enough to purchase it but I'm so happy to use it especially in the spring months I'm just I'm loving it right now and then I've been working on this face soap and clarity vitamin c facial wax wash from soap and glory and there we are on it i'm almost done with it i plan to have this used up by the next update hopefully we'll see how that goes i feel like i said that last time but i think i mean it this time i think i do this clean and clear deep action cream cleanser you guys have seen this in many of my videos i only have about two uses left on this one and then my Tarte Friction Stick. This one is getting really, really low now. I know, once again, that looks disgusting, but it's definitely getting down there and I'm happy to continue using that one. And then I have my Tatcha Pure, Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. I've been loving this. You guys know that I've been loving this. I really want to purchase the full size during this VIB sale that's actually currently going on, but I am on a no buy and I'm not buying it. <laughs> I am going to save this purchase for the VIB sale in the fall because I get 20% at that point and I just I don't need this right now so I'm not gonna buy it I do have other cleansing oils that I can use and I actually think I made a deal with a girlfriend at work to switch to cleansing oils because she doesn't like this one as much as she likes the Burt's Bees one and I don't like the Burt's Bees one as much as I like this one so I think we might just switch and call it a day <laughs> and then I have been working on this Henalei lip treatment, which I mentioned earlier. This is almost used up. The cap is definitely broken, which is one of the reasons why I want to get it used up because I don't feel like it's as sanitary with the cap not being able to go on tightly and I use this on my lips. This definitely has more of a Vaseline type formula to it, which I really appreciate after I do a sugar lip scrub. Then I have a lotion that I've been keeping next to my bedside table and I can mark this one actually. It is right here currently and it is the Pacifica Natural Body Care Island Vanilla Body Butter Lotion and I've really been enjoying this vanilla scent right now. It is more of a winter scent for me but I have been enjoying it and I don't think it's I think it's starting to go bad because it's definitely got more of a yellow color, which it was white before. So I definitely want to get this one used up. It's more natural products in Pacifica, so that's why it kind of goes bad a little bit more quickly. And then I have my Platinum Skincare Platinum Eyes, and I will give you this update on where I am now. Look at that. I'm like almost done. It's like nearing the end. I literally use this every night and it's going so slowly, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's taking forever. And then the next little body lotion that I want to use up is the Ulta Beauty Pink Sorbet Moisturizing Body Lotion. I got this in one of those sample kits from Ulta that they give you a bunch of different random products and I want to get this one used up. And then the final thing that I have by my bedside table is the Air Repair Complexion Boosting Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid. And this one I've been using as a night cream. I've used it five times since I put it in this little project and I've been really loving using this. It is a very, very gentle moisturizer for the nighttime. And honestly, I don't feel like I have to wash my face in the morning. I do anyways, but it doesn't leave my skin greasy or like my pores feeling really oily or anything like that in the morning, which I love because then if I forget to moisturize or if I forget to wash my skin, then it's not a big deal because my skin isn't oily with this. So I really have been liking using this and I will continue to mark the uses that I have on this. Right now I have five uses on this and it's still feeling very, very full. So that's good. Oh, and I also wanted to point out the next Too Faced Born This Way foundation that I'm going to be putting in there. It's another little of these sample packs here and this one is in the shade vanilla so i plan on putting this just right inside of the same container here when i'm ready to use it obviously i'm not going to use it today so i'm not going to open it today i'm only going to open it when i'm ready to use it and i will put it in the same container so that you guys can kind of see how i mix them and see how long it takes to use this one up because i feel like there's going to be a different amount of product in each one just because that's how i feel like things always are and yeah, so I figured we'll go to vanilla next and then we'll shoot for maybe a darker color after this one so we can keep kind of mixing the colors and seeing which one 
works the best for my skin. So yeah, I'm really happy about that one. And I plan on using all of these up. So we'll see how far I get. And yeah, that is it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope, you know, it's giving you some insight on how much sample products really can cost and how quickly things can go bad. Cause I mean, who knows, maybe that body soap that I washed with that I really didn't like, maybe it just went bad because that's why it's giving me the bumps. I really don't know, but it's my, it's my favorite thing to get samples. <laughs> I love getting samples. I love trying new products. I love seeing what works for me, what doesn't, and finding new favorites out of my sample products. So, you know, in using them and in, in this product project, I really feel like I've learned a lot about companies and about how much they give you in sample sizes and ones that actually care enough to give you enough of a sample size to actually figure out if you like the product or not. Because some products, I use them once. I don't know if I like that. I'm not going to buy that. And then other products, it's like, wow, I got three months use out of that. Of course I'm going to buy that because I loved it. And I can't imagine, you know, life and makeup life without it. So I don't know. I really feel like I've learned a lot and I feel like I've used up a lot of money. So once again, I will put the totals here of how much money I used up and how many products and also my totals for the whole entire um, project and show you guys kind of where I'm at for this month and for you know the project as a whole from 2018 and yeah I'm pretty proud of myself this month I used up $45 come on you gotta be proud right <laughs> I don't know anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one bye